Welcome back to the special edition of Houston Life. Tessa and I have been enjoying opening day of the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, but shh, baby is sleeping. We are taking a live look now at the petting zoo over in AgVenture. Check out this little sweetheart taking a nap. He is so sleepy. He's had a hard day. He knows how busy everyone is working. This is a great spot for the kids or even the adults just to get up close and personal with some of the cute animals out there. I know. The chicks are hatching. There's so much, so much to watch. So the entertainers and athletes are a huge draw out at the rodeo, but we know the mission is always about the kids, of course. Yep. Proceeds from the rodeo go to support education and scholarships, and there are opportunities throughout the year for kids to get involved. Yeah, all kinds of ways. And one of them is through the student art competition, which features some pretty unbelievable art from young people in our area. Houston Life's Lenny Juarez introduces us to the grand champion of the student art competition, Eliza Hoffman of Clear Creek ISD. been doing art since I was really small, like as far back as I can remember. When I was in elementary school, I first entered the rodeo art when I think I was in kindergarten, then three years in middle school, and all four years in high school. I am this year's grand champion for the rodeo 2024. The Warriors of the Great Spirit is done in oil on canvas. I think my main inspiration for this year's painting is the opportunity to try and tell a story through um, my painting, especially in such a big platform like the Houston Rodeo because when you look at Western history, Texas history, um, there, you'll always see the Native American tribes, all of them all the way across, like from Texas to the Dakotas to California and just all across the U.S. They're such an integral part of cowboy culture when um, well, you see Western culture as a whole. It's a blending of cowboy culture, the mountain men, you'll see a lot of art representing them, Native American, uh, the different cultures, and Mexican culture, especially in the South. So I think to me, it was very important to bring that to the rodeo. Because a lot of times, it's common to think about the cowboys, um, but it's also important to recognize the Native Americans and their history and their ownership of the land. My personal interest in portraiture definitely influenced me on this, because the contrast between the young and the old. Um, a lot of times when you see paintings of somebody who's older with somebody who's younger, it um, often deals with experience, perspective, and history. And something about this that was very important to me was showing history. So um, the model Jesse, he's older. He would exude kind of like um, wisdom, uh, seriousness. And then LaCoya on the other hand, who he's younger, um, he helps express kind of the feeling of not knowing what's next, looking forward into the future, um, and trying to maybe look up to um, his elder, his superior, and understand where maybe his duty is um, and where his values are. In addition to getting to paint the faces, which I had a lot of fun with, it was kind of trying to capture those themes. I can't express enough how much participating in the rodeo has influenced me. Um, I think it was the first avenue that was offered to me where I can see uh, my work being sold. Definitely the rodeo has changed my life and changed the trajectory that I'm going to go towards in so many ways. Amazing. Have goosebumps. You, yeah, goosebumps for sure. As someone who paints by numbers, that will never, <laughs> that is the most impressive thing. Just so beautiful. And all the art is just amazing. It what, is so, what a, so what a much gift. talent. 